to the woodshop life. Uh, today we have a new laser engraver and our task is to unpack it and get it all ready to start on our new project. Let's get some coolant in. I'm using some deionized water. We completely cleared out the local grocery store of deionized water for this and the CNC router, since they're both going to be using the same chiller. I've already put some uh, radiator coolant in here, which is just gonna help act as a corrosion inhibitor. If the first thing we're going to have to do with this laser is swap this power cord out. It's a European one, it's got no earth on it. Uh, they use a separate earth in China, so we need to get this with a UK plug and we need to get it earthed and we'll do that inside around here. They've got a nice little terminal block coming in which we can connect up. Now we need to get the mirrors aligned. We have our first mirror here and we have our beam combiner here. So unlike most Chinese lasers, I've opted to get a beam combiner in here. So we've got a red dot laser here rather than on the head. And this, once I get it set up correctly, means that the red dot is gonna follow through the beam path of the laser. So we'll see a spot exactly where the laser is gonna fire on the material, which is pretty cool. The Laser path is, for the infrared laser is mostly aligned now. The red dot laser still needs some work. I should go back over this path and get it perfect. But for now, we've got it coming into this mirror pretty well. And now we want to get it shooting down through the main lens correctly. And we'll be ready to do some cutting. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, but this lens, as it came from the factory, is filthy. So we'll give it a clean. I have some Zeiss lens wipes here. We'll take this out and we'll get it nice and cleaned up with a good clean lens wipe. All right, so I don't know what lens is in this at the moment, what came with it. So I need to figure out my focus point. You can see I've just done a quick little line here. What I've done is I've got the uh, piece of plywood up on a piece of 2x4 and I've got the speed set to 200 and I'm just going to hold pulse and manually drive this across and that is going to give us our focus ramp. So this is where it may become more apparent why I wanted to spend the money on the red dot. It's only 50 US dollars and now I have a red dot exactly where the laser beam has hit. So if we're doing things like lining up here and lining up pieces of work, this is just awesome. What we've done with this focus ramp is now create a, basically a profile of the beam. So I'm trying to figure out where the narrowest point is here on the beam so that we can measure about where the focus is going to be. So I've got that set where I think it's pretty much the narrowest, the middle of the narrow point. And we'll just get that measured with the calipers. Almost bang on 17 millimeters here. I'd call that 17 millimeters is my focal depth from the bottom of the air assist nozzle. So we need a focus block for the laser. I'd cut it with the laser, but then I'd need a focus block to set the laser so I can cut the focus block. So I have a piece of European beach, which is 21.6 millimeters thick as an off cut. And I'm gonna put that through the planer and get that down to exactly 17 millimeters. And this will be my focus block. So that's now just kissing under there. So I'd say that is about where I want to be. All 
I've always liked this engraving as a really good test piece. Oh, yeah, this is the first piece which we've done with this laser. So how does it look? It's not quite perfect. It is a bit out of focus, but it's a pretty good starting point. All right, well, that's it for today. That's as far as we're gonna get. Next time, we're gonna have to look at getting the bed leveled. We're gonna have to look at getting the fume extraction sorted. Thank you very much for watching and would love to have you along for the journey. Please hit subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If you've got any ideas, suggestions, leave a comment. Love to have you along. Thank you very much.